we have one person, one wheelchair, there's probably 10 other people that benefit from it. Talking about developing countries, people that are treated like second or third or fourth class citizens. They have no hope, they have no mobility, they have no future. But the minute we give them a wheelchair, they have a new life. And I cannot tell you how many times I've had a woman or a man say to me, you've just answered our prayers. It doesn't get any better than that. The first step is by talking to the pastor. We have a video called Wheelchair Sunday, which you can actually play for the pastor. It's about 13 minutes long. It's with me on, on camera talking about what the Wheelchair Sundays are, how we do them. A great collaboration exists between the Knights of Columbus and the American Wheelchair Mission. Since 2003, Knights have sponsored the delivery of tens of thousands of wheelchairs around the world and right here at home to our veterans in need of mobility. Now the Knights Across America have initiated parish-wide fundraising drives called Wheelchair Sundays. Presentations about the wheelchair mission are made during Mass from the altar or in the parish hall immediately after the Mass. The Knights' goal is to open people's eyes to the needs that exist around the world and just how easy it is to change a person's life with the gift of mobility. And then we have uh basically endorsements by the priests that hosted the Wheelchair Sundays in their parishes telling the public just how wonderful it was and about the impact it had on their parishioners and then the entire world. I think people just saw immediately the need and the difference that they could make through their generosity and their willingness to reach out and help. And uh, since the video um, is very short and to the point, um, we figured that uh, what we did today would be the most effective thing. Just have it after the homily while people are there um, in church. And uh, I mean, you know what response uh, we get from that. I mean, people are just in tears and very much, uh, very touch. I spoke at all the masses. I, I inspired the people to come after mass, to watch the, that video, uh, and they did come. But most of all, they gave, they gave from their heart. And uh, it, was, uh, it was an unbelievable success. We get involved in something like this. Uh, we are doing God's work, and, and all of us are God's children. And uh, this is a great witness to, to our faith. And uh, this is something that we should be doing more of. I've seen the video on the DVD. I've heard the presentation. I've seen the, re the response of the people, you know, and I uh, try to get re involved myself in it. Um, because I don't ask anybody for anything that I'm not willing to respond to myself. So <clears throat> we can supply the bulletin announcements, we can supply the outline for how the Wheelchair Sunday is set up, <clears throat> how you do the presentation from the altar. If it's a large enough church and it fits in my schedule, I'll come help do it. I, I, I have no problem doing that. It's something that once you do it, you realize it's so easy, you can catch on and, and go for years and years and years. But uh, in the first five parish drives we did in Southern California, we raised $150,000 and added 100 knights to the five councils in the first three months after the parish drives. Incredible numbers. The Supreme Council took note of it, the membership people took note of it, and it's something that we are trying to expand throughout the country because it really puts a face on the knights for the parishioners. A lot of people don't really know what the knights do. And we're also recruiting a much, much younger audience, like my son, who's 21 years old, who just became a fourth degree knight, he was at our second parish drive ever, and he walked up afterward and said, can I be a knight? And I said, you're 19, of course. I signed him up right there on the spot. So we're actually appealing to the younger audience, too. It's something that uh, is very easy to get people involved. So making contact with us is the number one point. Uh, we will then give you all the information you need, tell you how to do it. We can actually connect you with the uh, pastors in California or in Texas or other states that have actually done the parish drives. They can reassure the pastors in the local communities that it's a good thing. The bishops have already approved it across Florida. It's something that's very, very easy to do. Just getting the ball rolling, just saying, yes, I want to do it, picking up the phone or sending an email, we're happy to help. How are we going to take it to the next step where we start to implement it throughout the state? And what sort of message do you give the, the district deputies and the Grand Knights who haven't yet uh, figured out what this is all about? Well, I hope... Doug, I gave you a chance to talk to Doug before you show him this. 
because <laughs> a venue like this is one of the ways we're going to do our do our messages, is to to bring the message to the uh, district deputies and the grand knights in the venue, or uh, bring them all together and promote like the, the videos we showed today, and just you know go out to the field and, and tell them we're here. Instead of asking them come to us, we're going to go to them. Truly, it is by the Lord's hand that we are touching these people's lives. But in the process, we are changing our own lives forever. And I encourage anybody and everybody to get involved and do it for themselves.